And welcome back YouTube, this is Boosterbacksbuster here with another video. Today I am super excited to share with you my complete Street Fighter Hero Clicks collection video. I was finally able to locate and obtain the final piece that I was missing from my collection and I am extremely happy to share with you the entire collection complete. We're gonna start with some commons move up to the uncommons, rares, and then end off with the chases. So first up we have everybody's favorite sumo E Honda. Now these particular Hero Click sets are of the older variety. They don't have the thicker clicks. They're the thinner ones, which are much harder to move. So just keep that in mind if you plan to buy these, that these use the older click system instead of the newer click system. Love those uh, super fast and furious palm action going on there. Very cool E Honda. And then up next, we have Ken. Very cool pose there. Pretty good, uh, effect. Uppercut, of course. Very nice. Let's move next <clears throat> to Guile. Very cool character. I always enjoyed using Guile. I was never very good with Guile, but just the, you know, USA factor, the soldier factor. He always look and that hairdo, that hairdo just looks super cool. Let me focus that. There we go, much better. Pretty cool action. All right, that is Guile. And we have to go to everybody's favorite grappler, Zangief. Pretty iconic move there. Very, uh, very well done with the muscles on this one. All right. Now let's take a look at Chun Li's or Chun Li's particular hero click. This is, of course, her player two outfit. The player one was uh, exclusive to the star starter sets. And I love the fact that they show motion with like the multiple uh, like shadow kicks to show just how fast Chun-Li can kick. Very cool. Uh, Dalsum. This is his player two as well. The player one outfit was of course in the starter set. Uh, of course, there's a yoga setting pose. Very cool. And honestly, the the effects here work pretty well. It doesn't look like it's fake or 
you know, gaudy or just terrible. It, it actually does work pretty decently with these particular uh, hero clips. I'm sorry, I forgot the name there for a second. Very cool. That's Dalsum. And then let's take a look at DJ, a character that doesn't get much... Uh, A character that's often overlooked nowadays. You don't see a lot of uh, merchandise of him, so it's kind of cool to have a hero click of him. Very nice uh, pose there. And one of my personal favorites, we got Blanca. This is his player two. Once again, his player one is available in the starter set. There's six of them. I believe it's Ken, Ryu, uh, Chun-Li, Dalsum, Blanca, and not sure who the sixth one is, if there is a sixth one. I know there's those five for sure, though appear in the starter set. Very cool. I love the uh, the thunder or lightning coming off him there. Very cool. Very reminiscent of the character. And then we will take a look at the common second player, Ryu. Very cool, of course. Summoning up what appears to be a potential Hadouken. Or my young... Or, uh... Because I got into Street Fighter and DBZ at the same time, so... You know, I always thought it was some sort of, like, Kamehameha move, but that's for a different story. Alright. And I believe the final common of the set, we have Kami. A character that I always wanted to be good with, but I could never, ever play. Her style was just a bit too unique. I, 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 it just didn't fit with my, uh, my play style. Very cool pose there. Always loved Cammy's twin tail hair style. Unfortunately, the Cammy in the set has the most, it's the most prone to leaning, and that's for all Cammies. So, it's a bit unfortunate, but, uh, it's just the way that the particular hero click was built. Nothing you can do about that. Alright, so that does it for the common lineup. Now we're going to take a look at the uncommon lineup. If I included any rares in here, I apologize. I did not mean to. But the rare and the common symbol are very similar in color. Alright. A little bit off center, let's move them. So everybody's on screen there, sorry for the delay. I just like to make it look good. There we go, that's much better. So we're gonna move to the uncommon lineup, and there's some characters that have yet to make an appearance because, well, they saved them for the uncommon slots or rare slots. So first we're gonna take a look at another kin. I like this one. Love the uh, action pose. Hadouken's always a great move. Always thought it was very cheap back in the day when I first started playing because it's like, oh, you're hitting me with a ranged attack. My character, because I didn't know how to do ranged attacks, so yeah, <laughs> with any character because I was a noob at the game then, so I didn't know how to do that. 
That's Kin on Common. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look at. Let's save him for a little bit later. Ooh, this is a fun one. I really, really like this particular character. Uh, this hero hook is probably one of my favorites. Especially, definitely uh, my favorite non rare. And this is Fei Long. Just the absolute like dragon kick going on there. Just fantastic. I love it. The red uh, flame going around there really, really makes it look cool. Fei Long, another character that doesn't get a whole lot of merchandise, and I hate to say it, but I think that the big reason is because he's too plain. He's not Ryu, he's not Ken, and he, he doesn't really have a defining trait, you know. So I, I think he's just considered too plain to have a lot of merchandise, which is unfortunate. Very, very happy that they made this hero click. One of the best ones out of the, out of the bunch, in my opinion. That looks good. And here's another character that doesn't get too much love, and that's T-Hawk. Very cool. Very cool looking. I absolutely love the uh, the green translucency they used here. Very, very color coordinated. I like that quite a bit. And they did quite a good job on his sculpt too. I gotta say this is probably a really, really good sculpt. Very nice. That is T-Hawk. Trying to get it so it's not covering up everything. There we go. Doesn't look too bad. Oh, uh, well, that's rare. There we go. They made a second Guile, but I love this pose as well. The super uh, somersault kick like that, very cool. Once again, the effect piece there really, really works well with these particular uh, hero clicks. Very cool. And having him in a second costume is very nice. Uh, okay. Here's a pretty famous character. We got Saget. Of course, he has his eye patch there, if you could see it. Very cool. Very well sculpted, especially for an uncommon. Very cool. <clears throat> Hero clips. Alright, we're down to the last three uncommons, I believe, and then we move on to the rares and chases. Now this is another really, really cool one. In America, his name was Balrog. In Japan, his name was M. Bison, of course, a play on the very famous boxer at the time, and still very famous uh, retired boxer today, Mike Tyson. I love that uh, uppercut there, the American boxer. Love the motion of speed. Like he's just, he just literally like dashed into you and did an uppercut at the same time. That's pretty cool. Balrog. Oh. Yeah, this one's probably my second favorite uh, non-rare of the set. And his name in America is Vega. In Japan, I believe he was a Balrog in Japan. They did a three-name switcheroo. I'll be showing the last character of this very shortly. 
I absolutely love the fact that he's holding on to a brick wall. I kind of wish it was like a cage to be more authentic to the character, but I understand they could... They probably had a leftover piece from some other hero clicks that they just decided to use for the wall piece here. So they, they probably had limitations. Of course, Vega, the, uh, the vain pretty boy. This was another character that I always enjoyed using, I was never very good at, but I always enjoyed using just because he just looked cool. I always thought he looked really, really cool. That's Vega. Or Balrog, if you're in Japan. And the final uncommon, the one that took me a, the longest time to track down, and I finally, finally tracked it down. The missing piece of the collection. Dalsum Breathing Fire. That's right. Dalsum Breathing Fire. I gotta say, it looks pretty cool in person. Dalsum Breathing Fire. Or Yoga Flame, I guess, would be the correct term. It was the one piece that I was missing, and I finally tracked it down. I had another opportunity to get one, but I would have to buy almost an entire another person's Street Fighter collection, and I didn't want to do that when I, all I was, needed was one piece, and they wouldn't just sell the one piece, of course. So You know how that goes. Alright, so now we've covered all the commons, all the uncommons. We're going to get ready to move to rare territory. There isn't a whole lot of rares, but they do exist. Please let me know in the comments down below what your favorite Street Fighter character is, and what your favorite Street Fighter hero click is. I would love to read them, and I always try to uh, respond to all the comments, I always try to read all of them. Unfortunately, YouTube doesn't always notify me about every comment that's left, but the ones that I uh, do notice, I always try to respond to, so, yeah. Alright, so with all that said, we are down to our final rares and chases. First up, we're going to start with... The rare Ryu. I gotta say, this is a pretty cool one. I love the fact that it's his player one uniform, that you can actually get one outside of the starter set, so that's kind of cool. Very nice. Once again, love the action pose, love how the effect of the move is actually used as a stand to help the character stay up and not potentially fall or break off over time. So that's another very nice uh, little hidden addition to the uh, hero click. That's Ryu Rare. Here we got Ken's Rare variant. And once again, love the player one outfit. Love the, uh, really love the special effect down here. That's really cool. Not gonna lie, the face is kind of derpy on this one, but to be honest, uh, Hero Clicks, especially older ones, have always been hit and miss with their uh, face paint jobs, especially. And then we got, not just any Ryu, evil, evil Ryu. Love the red energy being unleashed. The little piece of rock that he's standing on, very true to the character, very true to the environment. Because, you know, you're fighting in the street. 
honestly, the only way that they could have made the set better is if they would have released some sort of a car, like beat up car, as like an obstacle on the battlefield. That would have been excellent. And then we get to my favorite two out of the entire lot. The two rares that I absolutely adore. And honestly, I think it's just truly fantastic. We have M. Bison in America. Vega in Japan, I'm pretty sure. Very cool character. Honestly, uh, this is another character... I, I never really played much as him. I always admired people that could play as him because I love his uh, his shadow forward attack. The one where he kind of like flies energy attack. That was always really cool. Apologies for not knowing the name of that attack off the top of my head. Love the evil uh, aura being unleashed back there. Very cool. The fact that he's actually flying or, you know, I'm not flying, floating is really cool as well. Just an absolutely beast of a hero click piece. And my absolute favorite one out of the entire lot, by far and away, has to be long to Akuma. This is just such an epic, epic piece. This is essentially three models in one. Just absolutely fantastic. Honestly, this should have been a chase. This definitely should have been a chase. The fact that this guy is a rare is very criminal. Just look at that. Look at that mug. If the camera wants to focus, sorry. If the camera is having trouble focusing today, sorry about that. I don't know why. Very cool though, I love it. Absolutely fantastic, beautiful. That is the Akuma Rare. And now we get to the chases, which are unfortunately just color variants of four of the characters in the set. But I will show them nonetheless. First up, we got Chase Blanca. Very cool piece. I don't know what that is in the thing there, so. I don't know what that black thing is there. I don't know if a bug got in there or what, but... Yeah, it's there. Gotta clean that out. Okay, good to know. Maybe just a piece of dirt. Who knows? But that's Blanca in his chase form. Pretty cool. Then we have Chun Li in her chase form. Zan Gif, very cool. And last, but certainly not least, we have Cami Chase Form. Once again, with that a uh, little bit of a lean back, which I don't, I don't think it's supposed to be leaning that far back. Okay, I think that about covers it. Overall. I gotta say I'm very happy to have finally completed this collection. If you would like to see the starter set, let me know. It's, ju it's literally just player one characters and 
a couple maps, rule book, that's about it. But uh, yeah, that's that's the entire Street Fighter collection that you could pull from the packs. I'm very excited to have said that I can that I completed the collection. Dalsum, you took a long time to find, but I finally found you, and you are finally home with the rest of the Street Fighter cast. With all that said, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. If you want to see future content like this, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see a past video on this channel, you should be seeing some options popping up right about now. Until next time, this has been Booster Box Buster with my complete Street Fighter Hero Clicks collection video, and I'm signing out. Peace.